right guys, today's video I'm going to show you how to lay this Neurochrome vinyl over your reverse light. You can use this stuff on your actual tail light, your third brake light, your headlight, or any kind of interior parts. It's going to give it that Neurochrome effect. Um, I'm going to go with step by step, show you how it's done, but today is just for the reverse light. Let's see how it goes. Okay, so I've taken the time to already do one just to kind of show you how it would look. See how like straight I could get the lines. Came out really good. I've already done the third brake light, which I'm pretty sure some of you all have seen before. You're gonna stick your fingers on this top end and actually pull down. And it comes off. It makes it nice and easy. If for some reason you needed to pry on the side, you could use a butter knife, but I'm not a really big fan because you start to hurt the plastic. So the next part is, is you're gonna need your socket wrench. Um, this, of course, like any other pieces in the car, it's gonna be a 10 millimeter. We're gonna go ahead and loosen up. There's three bolts or nuts holding it on. That one's actually already kind of loose. The other one's gonna be further in. And these little socket wrenches will reach in there. But for some reason, if it didn't, you could always use a standard wrench, like so. That one you're gonna need for the top one. The only reason being is the length of the actual screw. So you're gonna have to actually use that. What I do is loosen them up and then I use them, use my fingers to take off the nuts. And the reason being is if they fell down in here, it's gonna be really hard to take them out. If you wanted to take them out easy, if for some reason you dropped it, it's always nice to have this magnetic uh, tool here. And this actually is really nice when it comes time to try to get a, a nut that's fallen in. So if you don't have one, it's a good idea to get one. Just go ahead and take off the rest. Now the tail light is hooked up by one connector. You just press the tab and pull up. It comes off. And basically to push it out, which there's some cutouts here. So you'll push right here and here at the same time. And it'll actually push out. So out comes the tail light and a lot of dirt. I've taken the time to get an actual weight. And the reason why I have this here is so that way I can place the actual um, tail light on it. And as I'm applying pressure, it won't move around. It actually will stay in place. Um, if you don't have it, as you're trying to actually apply pressure, it'll move forward and it kind of makes it a little hard to keep out the air bubbles. So I have my little squeegee, a razor blade, I use like a household cleansing wipes, like a Lysol or Clorox, and that makes sure that I get all the oil off. I use a napkin afterwards to dry. So, and then of course the vinyl, which I've already kind of pre-cut. Now this vinyl is really cool. It's got like the actual side that's sticky, and then the opposite side that um, it's like a protector. So as you're actually applying pressure, it's not going to scratch up the vinyl, and you take that off afterwards. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and wipe it down. Get all the dirt and grease off, wax, whatever might be built up on it. And dry it off. Make sure it's all nice and all the film of the actual wipe is off. Okay. So when applying, I set it like so, but what we also have to take the time to notice is that there's this real fine lip here. Every model is going to be different, you know, not all this, you know, I mean, not all cars are like the Scion. Some don't have any kind of lip at all, but for some reason they just put this lip here. So we're going to have to definitely go and press it down in there so it gets the full effect. But to do that, you know, and just to also mess with this vinyl, because it is rather thick, is you need a... A blow dryer. I have this industrial one, automotive. I got this one at Harbor Freight. It's a few bucks. Or you can use your household hair dryer if you have one and um, go with that. So now I got to figure out which side is the sticky side. Okay, so this side is the sticky side. 
So what I do is I pull just a little bit back. I'm not going to pull it all back all at once. The reason being is it's just easier control. It's not going to stick on everything. So what I want to do is actually take the time to set it here on the side of the tail light. One more time so I can make sure I mold it into that curve. Make it real nice and soft. I'm going to take my actual squeegee and press into that fold there. Kind of work it in. That's what's nice about these rubber squeegees over the hard ones. It's like you can actually kind of like work with molding and shaping. With the hard ones it kind of don't allow you to reach into these corners so well. And they might even scratch and cut the vinyl. So it looks like it's kind of caught on pretty well. I'm gonna heat it one more time just to push this fine point in a little more. So now that I've got that focused on and already molded to the actual shape, I can go and pull back a little bit so that way I can work on the flat piece and make sure all these air bubbles are out. So what I try to do is slowly run back and forth and this allows to, for it to take good grip and leave out all the air bubbles. Some people like to use their finger, you can if you'd like, it's entirely up to you, it just depends on how much experience you have with it. Okay, so I have an air bubble there, so I'm going to go ahead and pull back, just to make sure I can get that up. And now I've already reached the actual part where I peel back. I want to go ahead and peel back a little more. Of course, not all the way off. Again, I'm going to heat up to get all these creases out here. Okay, so I've taken the time to actually see if there's any air bubbles, um, and there there is, and I've already pushed them all out. Um, so at this point here, I'm going to cut on this top line above this lip and try to follow this red line all the way through. Now, when you're cutting, it's it's going to be kind of hard to see that line just because um, the the actual neurochrome kind of messes with the eyes a little bit. And on top of it, like if you've noticed, like I didn't really even worry about pushing any of this down because I'm actually going to cut that excess off. And so I'm going to start here. Just take my time. What I normally do is I run my finger along this edge here. And I want to get this weight out of the way so that way it doesn't in the way, stop me from turning the way I'd like to. What I now normally like to do is stay more on the red side, so that way if light shines through or anything, at least the white part's not exposed. I think it'd look kind of funny.
down. I'll take this off and see how I've done so far. Looks pretty good. So here I'm just gonna cut downwards to take out this excess. All up pretty nicely. I'm just gonna finish it off. Okay, so all the cutting's done. Now I follow the actual design for the most part. Like there's some sections where you can see it's kind of straight off. You get really close enough, but it's almost like you can't even tell. It, it it's kind of like seamless. Um, so like the, I've made sure that all my air bubbles are out. And so the next step to do is actually take off the protective layer. So what you're going to do is you're going to get your razor blade and like in one corner, lightly braise it. And eventually the clear set, the clear plastic will start coming back. There we go. All right, so that's it folks, it's all done. Now we just gotta go and get it back on the car and it's ready to rock and roll. So I'm gonna put this back. Now remember that when you're actually putting it back into place, to put the actual connection through the hole as well. If not, it's going to get trapped underneath and you're going to have to take it all apart to do it again. So, I'm going to put it through. It's just like so. And then all you do is put it back together. So, tail lights are back in and this is pretty much your end product. Looks real clean. It's kind of neat because you see it clear, green, blue, a little bit of pink and purple. So that's it. If you have any questions, comments, leave them below. Always hit a thumbs up and um, go ahead and follow us. Hit subscribe and so that way you can see the rest of our actual builds and how-tos. Thanks, guys.